Just got my latest version of Quicken 2017. Yes, I like things on physical media. Comes with a CD, a guide for installing, gives you some web links to help you through that process. And on the back side, there's some web links if you're upgrading. Let's try an upgrade since I am upgrading from 2014. First thing you should do is file, backup, restore, backup Quicken Files or Control B. That will take you to this menu in which I would advise you to add date to backup file names so it's easier to find. Uh, if you've been doing this on a regular basis, you'll have a particular place that you'll save these files to. Uh, this is mine. In addition to saving to the regular location, I would also save to a second destination so that you have a backup of your files. So once you're done with this, you can close out of your program, load the CD-ROM. If you've downloaded a file, then your, your process will be similar except for the absence, obviously, of a real media disk. Hit Run Setup, allow Quicken installer to operate on the OS. We're doing this on Windows 7. Mac McPhee wants to know if it's okay, so I'm going to allow always. Welcome will guide you through the steps, and they have ghost check marks for automatically backup Quicken files, uninstall your previous version, install, and we can't click on these. So our only choice is let's go. We have to agree all their stuff so you can read it or you can just hit I agree to the terms of the license acknowledge receipt hit next ready to install the installation may take several minutes you may want to turn off any virus during the installation I leave those on anyway don't worry your existing data is safe so they say which is why we backed up just in case install the program is uninstalling the previous version of Quicken, which is my 2014. Hopefully in this new version they'll fix many of the uh, bugs that they never got to on 2014. It is now installing Quicken's 2017. I get a prompt for McAfee for access to the internet, which I am going to allow. That way it'll be able to update to the latest version of 2017. We now get a prompt. It is installed successfully. You're on your way to seeing all of your accounts in one place, staying on top of your bills, and staying on the right path with your money. Very encouraging. Launch Quicken and complete registration. Again, we get a prompt for Quicken wanting to access the internet. Since this is a new version, we will allow that. Get a prompt to convert your data to Quicken 2017. Converting your data will be essential if you want to go back to it. I keep a running record of several years, so uh, I will convert the files. Note, if you're coming from 2016, you don't need to do a conversion. And we are now prompt to log in with our password. They'd like to add your mobile number. So you can do that if you'd like, or you can just continue and skip it for now. You can register with your data. Let's see if we can get past this. No, nope. we got to fill in the information. Once you've told them a little bit about yourself and where you bought the product, you can finally hit next. They can allow you to sync your data to a mobile unit. I don't have a need for that, so I'm not going to use the mobile unit, but it is a feature of this program. So if you'd like that available to you and you can check your balances online, then by all means, click Use Mobile and follow the procedures there. Not wanting to do that, I hit Don't Use Mobile and Next. Registration is successful, and we are told we are done. And voila, we're into our Quicken program. Looks slightly different. I'm sure there's some great things and some things they've taken out that I'll miss. But this is how you do the upgrade from an earlier version to the now current Quicken 2017 Deluxe.